to our guest, Holly Harris of the Justice Action Network. So with all of this, what concrete proposals are you all talking about, have you heard about from the president that actually have a good chance to become law in this, um, in this Congress? Well, the vast majority of the meeting yesterday was focused on prison reform. And there's different, all, there's all different aspects of criminal justice reform. I mean, you have sentencing reform, you have prison reform, which is really your back-end reforms. You have re-entry uh, um, programming. Um, you've got over-criminalization issues. Um, but yesterday, they were really talking about prison reform. What is that? Um, well, uh, Congressman Doug Collins from Georgia and Congressman Hawking Jeffries are working together. They've actually filed a bill, uh, the Prison Reform Act. And these, again, are your back-end reforms. So for individuals who are ser currently serving time behind bars, this is going to be programming. It's called recidivism reduction programming. This is the type of programming that if these individuals successfully complete it, data from states that have implemented these reforms shows that these individuals are far, far more less likely, or far less likely, rather, uh, to recommit crime in the future. Um, and we're talking about programming like, you know, again, job training, um, treatment for addiction issues. You know, if we're not addressing the core reasons why a lot of these people turn to crime to begin, to begin with, then what's going to happen when they get out? They're simply going to return to addiction. Um, they very often return to crime, return to prison, and that's the cycle of failure that we seek to break with this programming. More of the details of the Prison Reform and Redemption Act, one of the ideas out there. It would allow certain prisoners to serve the end of their sentences in halfway homes or home confinement, would require the Attorney General to develop a risk and needs assessment system for criminals while giving them incentives to lower their risk of recidivism. Anything else you want to say about that? Well, it's really important also to note the earned time credits. A lot for low-level nonviolent offenders who successfully complete this programming, they can get earned time credits, which, which means they can get time off their sentences. So that's going to save significant taxpayer dollars as well. And of course, you know, we'd love to see those resources invested in other places that uh, certainly have a much uh, more impactful, uh, that, that have a much better impact on our, our public safety, um, on the public safety in general. There's